sounds and breakdowns. Welcome back to the Chill Sounds and Breakdowns podcast. We are on episode one. 16 116 man we shot we shot a, uh, a few of them this year and it's kind of cool this is a midway point so i thought it'd be cool to get the you know the gang back together uh we started the year off with the noise rot one and now we're halfway through the year so it's kind of a good moment to catch up with everybody so does that mean we're doing one at the end of the year that's kind of weird because then then we do another one right at the beginning <laughs> I didn't think about that. It's like December. <laughs> December. <laughs> Sorry. If we get New Year's off again, it would just be a year from the exact date from the, like the last podcast. It's like, like the that. yearly yeah, one. This is smart. So mm-hmm. maybe. So so this is biannual now. Biannual. Hurry. Yeah, is that Done how you deal. say it? I was gonna say biweekly, but no. It's, nice. That's weekly. Done deal. Yeah, we're not. I'm not off to a great start here. Let's do it, <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's OC, your host for the Chill Sounds and Breakdowns podcast, and I'm here today to talk to you about Full Step Go. Now, as you can see today, I am dripped in it. I got the shirt, I got the hat, but Full Step Go is a lot more than just clothes. It's more than clothing, it's a culture. Full Step Go has always been a symbol that cultivates a community of creativity and growth. Whether it's music, artwork, clothing, they are all over the map making waves. They truly do inspire creatives to uncover their potential and discover their true selves. There really is no limits when it comes to your creativity. So follow Fall Step Go to join the new counterculture movement and go against the mainstream. Yeah, yeah, I thought it, I, I thought it'd be cool, and you know, it helps. It helps again <laughs> fill in some dates when some stuff, <laughs> some said- stuff falls through. It's kind of weird, man. Like again, like. Uh, obviously the people that have dropped their dates for the podcast like i don't like think anything bad of there was all like these like out of you know nowhere things you know that happened so it's out of their control at all um but yeah having to work it out like it's still like these things so these things just lined up and this was when i had you on which was only like two podcasts ago like right yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With, that was the idea i was like oh it'd be cool to catch up with everybody yeah uh, midway through the year uh we've been doing a lot of stuff a lot of stuff and and also, like, July has been kind of a little bit of a break before it gets fucking crazy. But, yeah. But still, yeah. though. So how how are you guys doing? I'm a little sleepy. I'm kind of yeah. just waking up for my day. Yeah. <laughs> we, we couldn't afford raises this year, so we did start off with pizza. That's yeah. Pizza party. <laughs> pizza, party. Yeah. Pizza, pizza party. No one gets a raise. I mean, no health benefits, but you get little, little Caesars. So that's, health, that's the shit they would do. not health benefits at all. <laughs> it's, it's the opposite. It's the, yeah. Little Caesars and Coke. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what doesn't have that's why when you brought this, I was like, wait, full sugar? Oh, my God. <laughs> I haven't had just a Coke Coke in a minute. Damn. Well, I figured you weren't going to want an energy drink since it's been the... Uh, it's been two and a half weeks. Fuck you, Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> Have you really gone two and a half weeks without? Uh, I've almost yeah. Monday will be three weeks. Which wow. you haven't had one. You you mm. went cold turkey. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You have like which I feel fine. Like yeah. like it's not like man. It's kind of like whatever. But I do. I mean, I crave them because I like the taste, and I kind of just have the impulse when I'm driving to be like, oh, I can go to QT real quick and get yeah. me an energy drink. Like that's what plays in my head, and I'm like. I don't need to go to QT and buy an energy drink right now. The funny thing is, it's mostly the habit and mm-hmm. the little, like, for me, like, I used to always get one at a certain time mm-hmm. of day. And it's just like, oh, this is the treat because I made it to this time. Yeah. Of day, you know what right. I mean? And, uh, and, that, and that's the thing that I run into is that the, the taste, because I like the way, like, for... Out of all the energy drinks, like the monsters, the sugar-free monsters, like they do really well They're with their really flavors. Good. Like I, <laughs> I so like it more good. than the regular one. I know you like the regular like sugar one, yeah. but I, I don't like that flavor. But the for some reason, the sugar-free ones just I love those. But yeah. like I find myself craving that flavor, and I'm like, yeah, I don't need this caffeine because then I'm like in my office or whatever, and just like fucking heart going crazy because I'm just like I'm just sitting here. Why the fuck did I have another two hundred? About to start teleporting caffeine? and shit yeah. in there. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me when you were at the. <laughs> At cheap steaks and you drank one of those like C4 ones and you were like yeah my my hands are like really itchy. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. like, yeah. Me not knowing shit about pre-workout not knowing that the C4 had pre-workout or anything in it all I see is pink starburst I like pink starburst so I'm gonna try out this energy drink because I had like the ghost energy drinks 
at the time and it's like okay I'm gonna buy this shit and I just I'm over here thinking it's an allergic reaction I keep washing my yeah. hands and I'm like I don't know what the fuck I touch my hands are itchy yeah like I have no idea no idea what I just bought or walked my like walk into or anything all I know is I just can't stop like my hands are itching I feel That's like I'm crazy. tweaking yeah. yeah it's not a fun feeling yeah. <laughs> I remember because you, you were thinking like maybe it's an allergic reaction and then I was like I saw the can she was drinking and I'm like we this is like a pre-workout like brand like I'm not, yeah. maybe it's having the same effect because that's what pre-workout kind of most of them do they do like ones that don't have like a tingle like yeah gotcha. yeah I don't I don't know what that tingle is for I me don't I don't know, know I need tingle. it because no. I need to know it's working no I I, tingle. I said it before and I'll say it again I, I don't do, well, you like the tingle I don't know the tingle I'll you tell you what I, know. I I'll know I'll tell you a side effect I get would you go first you keep going. no I was gonna say yeah, do you shit. ever want your ears and shit to itch then drink pre workout they do that uh, really it nah. sucks depending on which one you do you what I get much. I get a fucking shock through my heart that goes down my left arm. That's not normal. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> That's not normal. Actually, you know what? Actually, I don't know if you want to bring this up on the podcast. We'll take it out if you don't want to. So, pause. Yeah, you told, me the other day, you told me the other day that you apparently had a stroke at some point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? So, when I worked at Oni, uh, I remember around that time I went to the doctor for something and... They were, like, checking, like, my blood and all this other stuff. And they were, like, you know you have all the signs of, like, a heart attack, right? And I was, like, when did I have a heart attack? They're, like, it's... So a heart attack. Okay. Yeah, okay. they're, like... Or, uh, Stroke or heart attack? One of the two fucking... What's the difference? I don't, I don't know, know. But... but- See, I, I was telling Sierra the story. She's like, "There's a difference. Which one?" And I'm like, "I don't know. One of them. They both don't aren't good." You would know you're having a heart like, attack. That's though. what I'm saying. I feel like I would have fucking caught that. But I, I specifically remember my doctor was telling me she's like, "What? What does your job do that caused you to be so stressed? Because it's all stress induced." Mm-hmm. And she was like, "Yeah, whatever you have going on, you exactly. may need like a life change." She's like, "You're obviously stressed about." too many things you're overworking yourself and blah 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 i mean and also at the time i think when i was at oni i was not working out so i was still like rather lazy so i'm just mm-hmm. have all this like pent-up stress i guess and pent-up uh aggression too uh, just it's like hours, a lot of it too uh, oni has like, some weird hours too. Yeah. i mean i work weird hours now you know i mean I no but working. i mean like quantity like you were working a lot yeah yeah, if yeah, I remember yeah, correctly. yeah 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 but i remember my doctor was basically like too much going on. You need to change your lifestyle. You need to change your eating habits. You need to change, you know, your uh, everything. <laughs> Whatever uh, it is you're doing, <laughs> don't do that. Don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a long that time ago now, and I was been fine. Bro, you were, <laughs> when you were telling the story, you're like, yeah, it was back when I was working at Oni. I was like, Oni? <laughs> years ago so it's just nonchalant as fuck like, about it yeah i may yeah, have had a stroke it's no big deal <laughs> yeah, like, like what the fuck like that's not <laughs> that's not normal something I gotta, but it's I'll, funny because the go carlo on. energy talk is what i go someone the doctor a doctor tells you that you might have had a heart attack or a stroke and you're like whatever we fuck it we ball <laughs> carlo gives you one little 10 minute speech about like oh you could have kidney stones you're like oh fuck, fuck i'm dying that, bro <laughs> <laughs> No. I don't okay. want shit coming on my dick. Like that. That's so scary, that's bro. Such a, I feel like that's no. such a like man response to shit. It's like, oh, it's gonna fuck with my dick. Like, nah, no, no, no. that shit's is scary, this? bro. You had kidney stones. Comment below. <laughs> As we're all drinking soda. And shit. <laughs> it's, oh yeah, it's no, but that shit's drink. been like kind of creepy. No, but like when Carl was describing it, like uh, I was like, no, that's. I've had that for a while, yeah. you know, but I also wanted to challenge the conversation in terms of like, I've been drinking it for so long. I feel like I would have had it by now. Um, but I also don't want to sit around and wait that's, either. I mean, that's how it, ha- yeah, it just you know what I mean? Yeah. So now I'm like, so now I'm, now I'm in the conversation of like, okay, well, what if I did stop? Mm. Is it still coming? You know, is it, like, <laughs> <laughs> is it just, should I might as well just have yeah, me yeah, crack open? Should I just crack one open? Yeah, fuck it. I just need to know. Because the, the point is to prevent that from happening. Yeah. But if it's going to happen anyway, it's fucking full send. No, I know that. Hell shit is weird, man. Like, hell shit is really interesting. When, it, when shit like that hits you. I remember when I first, like, came back and the doctor told me that I was diabetic. I remember telling you because mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck, man. Like, this is, I, I think that I was very, being very dramatic. But I'm like, damn, I know the thing that's going to kill me now. Like, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, like, if I die from something, like, if I live to be whatever age, I'm yeah. like, it's going to be that. Like, some sort of symptom of that. Hmm. But, yeah, I was, like, super, like, depressed. And it still, like, goes up and down. But it's always when I don't take care of myself. It's gotcha. when, like, everything stop, starts, like, just piling on and piling on. But then, like... 
it's easier for me to recognize when it's happening because now it's like, oh, I haven't like been keeping up with what I'm eating. I haven't like right. you know been working out on the right schedule or sleeping or whatever it is. Or even like again, when you it, it branches off to so many things like productivity. Like, how, what have I been like doing like for noise and stuff like that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, and the way my brain works, like little things help me out so much. Mm-hmm. Rearranging this room. Mm-hmm. Which like built nice me part. back up and yeah. was like I was like oh shit like I'm excited again this shit looks cool you know what I mean right. I like the way it looked on camera and editing I'm like oh you know you handed me like the the audio for like the podcast and I was like the next day I'm like yeah I want to fucking get to this like let's go like so that pumped up again I did <laughs> I did a bad financial decision <laughs> in the long run it's gonna be good but I bought <laughs> I bought more mics no it's not more bad. portable mics no, that's not bad no but I just like. <laughs> I didn't calculate it right, so I probably shouldn't have bought oh, them now. Like, oh, wait a minute. But, I mean, they're going to, again, they're going to be me. I'll show them to you. This is where you're like, yeah. so you got me on rent? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but, uh, but the thing I told myself, and, uh, and I'm like, you can you have these. I go, so now, like, every day you have to make something. So mm-hmm. now that's my, like, cool. forcing myself to, like, every day. And, it, and it's not, like, it doesn't feel like a, a burden if I just get the one thing done. But then, like, sometimes I'll film, like, more stuff now. And I'm like, oh, okay. Because right. that's kind of that's what I have always been saying that, that I want to do. I want to create exactly. all sorts of content. Not just content to push, like, shows and stuff like that. Or even this podcast. I'm like, I want to do, like, original content based right. on, like, my own likes and stuff like that. But um, to add to this. And I'm like, okay. So this will just push me into doing that more. Like, I have the tools for it. And I have the skill set for it. Now let's just fucking... Right. It's just one going back to like the conversation we were having where we were talking about like Lewis and stuff and like just fucking oh, yeah, do it. Yeah. Like before you find the excuses on wow, why not to do it? Just, I'm like, just do it. And again, like with the setup that we have and stuff like that, it's like so easy to do it. You know what I mean? Right. Like it's sit there, press record, and then like talking, I that's the one thing I can <laughs> fucking do like super easy. Like I don't have to like be super nervous about things. So like filming stuff I can do and editing little things like I, I can do those a lot quicker than I used to so I'm like there's no reason why I shouldn't right. be doing this you know what I mean mm-hmm. and I I guess like uh, looking for what I, I need to stop thinking about it as far as like results I'm like well, what's kind of come from this and just like work on it just like I work the podcast like just put it out like put it out mm-hmm. and it'll figure itself out you know what I mean as long as you're being consistent and consistent so it's trying to, it's trying to start a consistency with like a new thing for me you know right I mean? yeah. right I mean, it's fun, and then you just keep learning new shit, and then you get inspired with more ideas. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think it's cool. I'm not mad at it. So we pretty much, now that we're saying this on camera, now when we look back, you know, start of the year podcast, are we sticking to our discipline and the health that we're talking about today? <laughs> we'll see January 1st. Like, are you? Gonna see you yeah, we'll out. see January 1st. Are you still quitting, or are you doing good cutting back on energy drinks? Did you use your mics? <laughs> like... <laughs> Shit, I yeah. want to be unhinged. Yeah, don't talk about my dad. I just had pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I said mics. <laughs> I said mics is my promise, but no, I think it all it all goes like hand in hand, like stuff like that. Like, um, where it, it, it's the understanding of like everything bleeds into like each other. Like, if you're not doing well over here and taking care of yourself, it'll bleed into like your productivity or like right. the the attitude you take towards being productive you know what i mean 100%. like i'll be like I'll, I'll if i'm in a shitty mood because i haven't like worked out or i haven't or i'm like been eating like shit or whatever and i feel guilty about that that i'm like oh like i don't fucking want to do this either you know what i mean because why because i i don't feel like i you know need to be there or something but yeah it's it's little stuff like that that i just need to make sure to keep myself in check and luckily like yeah um like i it's i think honestly we i mean so one thing we've been doing keeping a little bit more consistent of is like meeting like a lot more often yeah Yeah. that's been cool um and i feel like that helps in two phases one productivity we get stuff done whenever like whatever it may be like we get something done like when we're together and two it um it boosts morale and accountability because we're all seeing each other every week. So yeah. it's like, oh, if we're seeing each other, like we got to have something to say and something to do. So like with me, same thing. I'm like, oh, I, me- I need to have something for us to do. Otherwise, like, why are we meeting up? Yeah. Right. Like, I don't want right, to waste right. anyone's time. But also, I think just hanging out with each other has helped yeah, 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 like yeah. a lot, a lot. And just um, encouraging and wanting to, I, I guess, adding the fun factor to like doing stuff again. And I mean, a lot, everybody's been taking on like, more responsibility and new responsibility like Bernie you've been killing it a lot on like the social media stuff like it's crazy how like one day you're asking me like is this how you like you do like these type of videos and then the next is like I already boom, got boom, it boom. I'm like, like tight done shit. like done 
everything is like done see and i have fun doing stuff like that because it's art related every time i get to like make the videos i'm trying to make it where it's visually appealing or i line up like whatever captions and stuff we're doing with the video so it's kind of a challenge to make like the most visually appealing ad before we even post it and not only that but it also gives me an excuse to check out new bands every single time mm, too yeah so yeah. like with the plus fest ones it's been really cool because plus fest has like a crazy lineup like yeah. two days worth of bands to check out and that's the best way to check like okay if i at least dedicate a song for each band that i'm going to make this for then i get to check out each band and be like oh, okay so now i actually also have a face to the name or like a face to the band because you right. know sometimes when we're like at a venue i'm like who's in the band and who's yeah. like merch or something you know <laughs> like if it's a new yeah. band and it's yeah. it kind of gives me a face to the name already that way i'm not you know going up to the sound guy at haltum and being like hey are you oh playing? yeah, yeah. Oh, like yeah. stupid yeah. shit like that, <laughs> that stupid funny. shit like that or i'm just like okay let He's me do like, my okay, homework you play the walk? <laughs> yeah. Like, right. yeah he literally went with it he was so nice he just went with it and i'm like man Thanks, you could, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you could have just said something i would have been like oh fuck my bad <laughs> That, I mean, that is super true about like the band thing and recognizing them because mm-hmm. I've I've have that so much because I, I sometimes I'll know like the music and then I won't know like I was like I don't know what any, sure. and it, and even yeah. like even like honestly like to this point like bands that like on you know regional and national levels mm-hmm. that I really enjoy I'm like I don't know who's in that like yeah, I, mean, I know what it sounds like I go but I if yeah. I, or if I saw them I'm like I don't know what their name is and I, it's weird right. I've been analyzing that about myself lately is that I have and it might just be time or whatever but. Like, I don't know as much as I used to know about, mm-hmm. like, or not used to know, but I haven't found out as much as I used to. Because I used yeah. to, like, right. know, absorb, absorb so much, like, yeah. hey, names, what do you do? Like, this yeah, is where yeah. you started playing uh, on my favorite bands and stuff right. like that. And I don't do that as much anymore. Um, which, again, like, stuff like having to build content and stuff like that makes me, it, it's inspiring that drive again. I'm like, right. oh, like, why? Is this like a thing? Okay, right. let me, let me yeah. meet those people. Let me do this, and then like, and it just it makes it more fun. I think it was just time. Like as a kid, like I mean, you have mm-hmm. well, yeah, plenty of time to research yeah. like your favorite band, hundred percent. Like and now with like responsibilities and stuff, it's hard to like have the time to sit down and like, oh, I'm gonna just look up everything. That's what I was gonna say. Well, not only thing. that, but like you're so between creating the content, editing the content, getting the content up there, and then moving on to the next thing. So you don't leave anything behind because, you know, sometimes we're so busy pushing one show and then it's just like we need to get to this show. This show's crept up on us faster than others. By the time you're done with that and trying to have like a normal life where you incorporate the gym, incorporate your relationships, work, stuff like that. You don't always get like the time to check out music as much as I like Mm -hmm. to or as much as I know you guys would like to as well. I know just like the other day I was showing King of the Man. They were called Carousel Kings. One, I didn't know they were back and they were really fucking sick. I was stoked that they were back, but, like, as I'm showing them these bands, he's like, where have you found these bands? I was like, oh, when I was, like, in high school, I would spend so much time on Bandcamp. Mm. And now I don't even do that. Like, I don't I yeah. don't even know if people use Bandcamp anymore, to be honest yeah, with that's you. That's quite but, a bit, thankfully, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's still... Yeah, people be using it. Yeah. Well, that's how I would find, like, a bunch mm. of bands. So I would come across, like, the Summer War, Carousel Kings, Bonfires, all kinds of bands like that would be on there. Now I just I don't have the time. So doing the videos and stuff like that really lets me kind of tap back into that again and mm. like also like i said earlier just kind of bring an excuse for me to check out bands like right. i've literally have had lobby boxers stuck in my head today after having to make so that good. video this weekend so they're good. so That's catchy pretty, yeah they're so freaking catchy but like just making that i'm like damn it now the song stuck in my head yeah. all day at work today like yeah that's yeah. the same thing happened to me with uh with king pink off of king, like yeah. literally like i was like i'm gonna I, I was doing the same thing i'm like i'm gonna pick a random one and i'm gonna mm-hmm. listen to that one today and i uh I think I was just like, let me just do that. Because I was the one, I think we were talking about it that day whenever I found yeah. it. I'm like, oh, okay, like, let me click it. And I immediately, like, became upset. I'm like, I like, I really like this song. And then, like, played it. And then I played everything. And I'm just like, all this is fucking great. Like, yeah. this thing is so good. And I was, and it was kind of nice. I'm like, oh, like, this is, I like, I like having that feeling of finding a band new. You know what I mean? Out of nowhere, like, you know, no one's specifically is telling you to listen to it and i'm just like oh just absorbing it and like in like yeah like cool time but no i really like that band but yeah that that feeling of finding like new music that you vibe with hard is such like an incredible feeling it's so 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 cool Mm -hmm. yeah i don't really try to take time when i'm like closing at work as like all right i'm by myself i'm gonna turn the system on and i'm gonna play like either maybe it's uh 
like recommendations that friends have given me or bands that I've been on my radar that I haven't gotten to check out and that's like my time to kind of like absorb it all you know what mm-hmm. I mean I, I have a habit of my three rule listening rule like my three listening rule like one is just like a, a scan through like mm-hmm. let me just get a vibe second one's like okay now let's try to pick apart and like learn these choruses and these verses and blah and then the last one's always like lyricism and yeah. I'll go through that whole thing and then I'm like oh like am I like a really <sighs> fan or do I like it? you know I kind of find my place in it but it's always like at the end of work or like earlier, I don't know when you got home. I was just like playing some music, and I was just it's just loud. But I was like, I got nothing to do right now. Yeah. Like I'm caught up on most of my <laughs> stuff. I was like, I can sit down and just enjoy some music. You yeah. know what I mean, it sounds weird. Maybe people can multitask and like mm-hmm. listen to new stuff while they're handling tasks. But I'll find myself tuning out more than I really want to. And I feel mm-hmm. like at that point, I don't give it the, like a true listen. And I because I want to like absorb it like i want to sit there and enjoy it yeah the only time that that helps me is uh if i play the music like on on speakers because apparently mm-hmm. like i'm not unless i'm at the gym i'm really not good about wearing earbuds anymore or headphones or anything mm-hmm. i'd like to i i would love like i would yeah. love to really like enjoy like having but like at the gym i can do it because i'm doing something like yeah. i can't whatever control like the thing oh not always like at, yeah. at the gym where i go to like i can plug into the speaker sometimes but yeah. no one's got to like everyone's got to not be there so at least in, in my head yeah I'll play it as loud as i want but if i'm home or something and i have the opportunity um i do that and put usually put like a i'll play something i like and let the radio play off of that um because i know i'm not super paying attention mm-hmm. but i know that if I if something catches my like my ear or attention like while I'm doing something else and I'm like hold on oh wait a minute yeah, yeah. and then literally it's that moment it's like stop yeah and then go find that artist that's and good. that's who I stick to yeah. it's like yeah like, listen yeah to me. and uh, those those are like really cool but yeah like having having just moments to listen to music right um, aren't as frequent as I have but like there's little things that I've picked up now to do like now since I've been trying to do more like photo editing that is something oh, yeah. I can do. And while you're working while on that, I'm doing right. something else like when I'm video editing I can't do shit like other than edit the video because yeah. like I need the sound or whatever like I'm paying attention I'm like damn it you know and usually like, I'm repeating like the same shit over and over right. and it's funny because I'm used to I'm used to editing by myself at, at, at home Yeah. so I'm always just like I have I don't wear headphones or anything and I just like playing it and I don't realize that I do it but I'll go back to the same thing over and over to cut things like so they you know work mm-hmm. between cameras back and forth and sometimes I work the same way like with Sierra in the room yeah <laughs> I remember one time she just came and was like here you go and I'm like what's it and, like a pair of headphones and I was just like I'm like oh, I was like, didn't say nothing else she's like here you go she's like here you go and she was I was like oh like no and I was like I'm okay and I'm like oh okay I get it like yeah I, and I get it. no it's just and it is a lot like if you're if you're just outside like listening right. to the same clip over and over because I'm trying to like cut something timed right. Yeah, I, I can see how it gets annoying, but I don't notice it when I'm editing because I'm just like, ah, I do it. Creepy fucking I do it too. Like when I'm making the videos at work, I'll go back and forth on my headphones between like my iTunes account or whatever the fuck is my Apple Music, and then like pause that. Okay, fuck. Let me go back and turn yeah. <laughs> the sound back on and make sure this is going, and then go back and change it. I think for us, too, like, growing up, my mom, we would always do everything with music. So it doesn't matter if it was cooking, it was cleaning, mm. like, anything like that to music. And then even with the shop that I work at, we're constantly having music going. Honestly, it pisses me off when the music stops playing at my job <laughs> because it's too much right? background it's noise. Crazy. Yeah, it's too much background noise. I don't want to hear your conversation. I don't want to hear the cl- it, Clippers sound so fucking loud when there's no music drowning it out. <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah, it's just too much. What's that word? There's a word for it, right? For like, like background bustle? noise? Like That's what bustle? it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Noise. Like it, it drives me kind of crazy because like my tinnitus will kick in if it's too quiet. And so I always have to have like either at least a fan like mm-hmm. that, like my little uh, fan in my room mm-hmm. or some sort of like noise or songs or music or something going on. Because if not and it's dead silent, I'm like, it drives me kind of crazy. I need like, the yeah, vibes. I, really, I, Silence like is, I mean, is... I, it's just very, I, like I don't know, it just feels unnatural. <laughs> yeah, it feels and unnatural, unless, yeah. Unless, unless you're outside, but even then it's not really silence. Like, it's like there's like... Life happening? Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I was going to say, that is silence. I go, but no, that's really not because there's like, there's nature, nature, you know, sound. But yeah, like inside, like it's really weird if it's just fucking quiet yeah, like, oh yeah. damn this 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 feels awkward like this feels yeah, weird. i'd work yeah. in an office if i wanted like absolute quiet and even yeah. i think then i would freak out hearing that like i'm typing and stuff <laughs> oh. like yeah i think that would be the end of yeah, me i work in an office but like i commend it <laughs> luckily they they let us like listen to really? yeah yeah, yeah i can cool. i can literally have them on like they've gotten lenient super lenient yeah and i'm 
so grateful for them because because cool. at first I was like just listening to music. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. And now I'm just dead ass watching movies. And like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, yeah. I finished all of Demon Slayer like the first season Less, like nice. yesterday and today. Oh like God. just at home, I'm just like, oh, there it is. Blah blah. blah. And, uh, but and those those are my opportunities when I use like to listen to like music gotcha. too. Like oh, like let me sit down and listen. But mm. I I get more distracted listening to music than I do watching something. I don't know. You get more distracted listening to How? music? How? I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know. It's Maybe it's what I'm watching, too. Because, like, I, yeah. I, the only thing that works that I've noticed is, is, is anime because of how dragged out shit <laughs> so is. So good. So that's what I was... I think I was telling DJ, but, like, moments take forever like in anime like they're not like it's not like a regular show or anything yeah. that you need to be watching like at all time like like I can look down and like just listen and like it's fine they're, they're still standing in the same two spots you know like and it's it's fucking great um no with music uh but you also do dubs so you're able to like I can look down yeah yeah you can yeah. I'll, I'll do subs and I'm like I have to watch every it's crazy man I, I don't know who who <laughs> it I, feels I will, more I natural die. I will die it on feels this more hill natural subs are dumb like why do I want to read a show you know what I mean like, I, I, I like the influxes just, I like to feel mm-hmm. what it, what I assume is their native tongue you know what I mean but when it's like American and English and all of a sudden it doesn't feel like it translates the emotions always the best and I'm just like I guess that's what he would sound like if he was getting sliced in half or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't watch anime. Watching. Is it kind of like when you see an American movie dubbed in Spanish and then like everything doesn't it's sync up correctly? No. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't <laughs> speak Spanish. So. <laughs> <laughs> everything looks like that, dude. <laughs> I'm like, that's the only thing I can think you, of. You shared to. something in Spanish today. I was like, does this dude know what he's sharing? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. How would you know? How do you know? How do you know? <laughs> Google told me it was I funny. Think, <laughs> I think you told me what's like. I like these little videos, of, like, and I'm like, they're in Spanish. I think at the time it was the Knuckles ones. I think. Oh, like, yeah, that guy's saying some random like shit. A, yeah, yeah. it's like a guy speaking Spanish or whatever. And I'm like, he's like, yeah, I don't know what he's saying, but it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> what did I share today? I forgot. I think it was a, wasn't it a penguin or some shit. <laughs> he's all drinking. Yeah, he's a little. Yeah. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Yeah. Silly. No, but yeah, music <laughs> to listen to music like I don't I don't know if I'm just making I make too much of a big deal sometimes where I'm like no it needs to be I need to have perfect conditions to mm-hmm. like listen to something if it, to absorb something sorry sure, sure, that, sure. to absorb something like to listen to music I can listen to whatever um, it's fine but yeah they, I guess like finding the right times I know the car still um, best yeah is the best well I kind know. of yeah. I only got one speaker that works in my truck not your car just car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That Bless was, you. Thank you. It's never just one. One. Sneeze. You get one. No, listen. No. I don't. I, I, can't, I wish I didn't need attention that bad. But <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. But no, I can never sneeze just once. I hate it. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, like. You, you, I have to do. I. I mean, I naturally will do like seven, but like. Yeah, I can't I ever. Want to. But you do like little mini ones. You're always like. <laughs> Yeah, I can never sneeze just once, and I hate it. Like, I wish I could just be one and done and not have to sneeze anymore. Bruh. Huh. I'm not gonna lie. I, I hold a lot of my sneezes. In. You hold them? Why? You just be at hard? work. At, like, if oh. I'm out somewhere public and I'm not outside, like... Why? Outside, I like to see. <laughs> so inside, here just... I like to see if I can get it. I don't like doing the, you know, when you do those. <laughs> yeah. Because I think I'm gonna die one How day. How psychotic <laughs> do you look, though? Huh? How psychotic do you look? I just go... What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Nuh-uh. Yeah. That's not as You be bad. doing that around me? No. no. <laughs> That's and, like at the office, I'm just like, I mean, I'm facing a computer. No one can fucking see me. Free so. the sneeze, bro. What are you no. doing? Because I'm sure like one of these days I'm going to let it go and I'm going to fucking get boogers on everything, dude. What? I don't know. That's my fear. Why are you just fucking, why are you just fucking something? Just fucking hot. <laughs> And you're no, I think you know what I think it is. You know what I think it is. It's because like Mexican fucking parents and shit. Anytime you had to blow your nose out in public, you were a kid. They grab the bottom of your shirt and just go blow. <laughs> He's walking around with fucking boogers on the bottom of your shirt. That's why you do the inside. Day. Do the inside. Why are you doing the outside? I, didn't, I was a kid. They would just grab it for you. And be like, ben, baka. <laughs> silver tooth and mocoso. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, that's what they did. That's why I think I'm just traumatized by that. Okay, I guess that's not as bad though. Is like if you. The baddies will understand. Trying to sneeze with your fucking eyes open so you don't ruin your mascara. That's a, yeah. That look. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> 
If you ever, so, you're, so you what does it fall? So you don't fuck up your mascara. If you have fresh huh. mascara and it's still drying, you're going to do everything in your power to not you, sneeze with your I eyes you're closed. you're not supposed to do that. I thought you couldn't do that. Yeah, I, mean, I do it. It looks psychotic, but I do it because I'm not going to redo my face. Out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go get some pepper. We're all trying it. We're all trying it. That's one of our content ideas. I don't know what it's going to relate to music, but we're going to try to sneeze with our Put eyes some open. some mascara on. <laughs> try not to smear it. Hey. I saw that picture we went to the emo night. I don't what what is mascara? Is that the line thing? Mascara is like what you put on your eyelashes. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. So what's eyeliner? That's eyeliner. The line thing. Yeah. I guess. I've had eyeliner. I saw that yeah, I saw the picture we went to the emo night and I had the wig on <laughs> and a little The fishnet. I had fishnets on my arms, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What happened to that wig? I don't know. I that was such it. a good prank in we the gonna, making, yeah. and we never. Got Damn it, man! We could have. I don't. Got it. Should we say the prank? Nah. It's been a while. Hold or we'll hold off. No, nah, let me. We'll hold off. Yeah, let me hold, hold off. off. Let me hold off. It'll it'll it'll, it'll be funny. We can say. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be funny. It'll be funny. It'll work. Uh, noise rock. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I, I feel like we've been pretty busy getting a getting a handle on kind of like how the workflow goes makes sense every i feel like yeah. everybody has their specific um what are you talking about like powerhouse yeah like i, I just like you know you know what you need to be doing and we're all doing it really well you know what i mean like so, yeah. you know we're, we're we're getting better at least i've seen a little bit more progress in the last like few months you know um and i don't i don't know what kind of what kind of did that does everyone feel like they got like what they're in charge of now and kind of what bleeds over yeah I th- feel pretty good. What were you going to say? No, you go first. You go first. I think, every, like, just breaking down the years of Noise Raw already, year one was just like, we don't fucking know what we're doing. We're Figure just rolling it with it. And then year two, we were just super fucking busy. And then, like, a little bit of a burnout between one and two. Mm-hmm. And then now, I think with year three, we know what works, we know what doesn't work. And now it's just like, okay, hit yeah. the ground running. Because the things that we needed to learn as far as, like, booking and actually having the events and stuff like that, we have that in the bag. So once that's in the bag, now you're able to, like, learn other stuff because you already have the basics down. You know what I mean? Like, it just, you keep, we've been advancing, I think, more than this year just because we already had to go through the growing pains of the first few things we needed to, like, get a handle of. I think of it as, like, like building a house. Like, we had some tools and some blueprints. We're like, all right. And, you know, the first couple of houses were like, oh, this one, you know. We can live in it, but we could also make it better. And yeah. Just keep making it better. Now I feel like now, oh, I know how to use these tools. I know what materials work. I know the house that I want to build now. Like, let's go build it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just now it's just putting in work. I think you need like that strong foundation before you can do anything. You know, you know? and I think we did. Yeah. A really yeah, good yeah. job at like having to learn what the foundation was first and foremost, and that's for like anybody for anything. Like before you want to do anything else, and like. You expect, like, overnight success or overnight, you know, like, things don't come to you immediately, but it's, like, you need that strong foundation before you can take on the next thing. Right. And I think that's where we've been doing really good at is just making sure it's, like, okay, we all have this situated, move on to the next thing. I'm really curious what we're going to be doing this time next year. Right. You know, like, when we talk about, oh, like, we were just learning to do this, now we're... Right. Short and ass attention spans. Not and- <laughs> only that, but becoming more. I mean, we outsource here and there as far as like graphic designing and whatever have you, and getting a grasp on our end and kind of learning more of it ourselves, I think has been pretty cool. And l- like, even myself trying to do like the Rotted Roots a little bit more on my own, um, I'll take inspiration from like how you do your clips and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And being like, okay, like, how do I give this platform and give essentially those artists more content and recognition so i'm trying to learn like what works best for that platform um as opposed to just you know booking shows and doing a lot of the day-to-day stuff um so it's it's that's a learning curve for me right now Mm -hmm. learning what the algorithm wants and that's always going to be like the challenge you know i mean i think that's the challenge for us to keep being on top of you know new technologies new new ways to network new ways to build content what's hot right now what's Mm -hmm. You know, maybe still relevant before it's like, okay, that reference is like 20 years ago now. Yeah. You know what I mean? We've we got to move on. You know what I mean? Mm. So, like, I think uh, that's right now is my challenge and trying to stay ahead of myself. Because I feel better when I'm ahead of myself because I can keep catching up. But it's like when I let something, like, there was a clip I posted today that's supposed to be out like a week ago. Now I feel like I'm playing catch up. I don't like mm. that. You know, yeah. like, ah, uh, this should have been out last week. But, here, you know, here we are and I'm trying to plan 
the next month or two. Um, which that'd be cool. I got some some more people for the Roddy route, so that'd be fun. Get that situated and try to keep building that uh, platform up. Yeah, cool. it was fun. I got to go to one and yeah. just kind of hang out. It was kind of yeah. cool just seeing. It's kind of cool. Like, and I took the attitude of I found myself during certain things. Like, I think I was gonna tell Lewis something, or even like you, or actually feeling part of a conversation. And I was just in the middle because I mean, I, like me and Lewis were in the middle. Um, cause I was taking pictures and Lewis was like filming, uh, but you were talking and we were in between here and like, there were certain things where I'm like, Oh, I really want to laugh here. Or I really want to, <laughs> uh, like interject with something. But I was also like, Oh, this isn't like, cause I was in my head. Like, I was like, Oh, we're in an interview. Like I, you know, you need yeah. to say something or even just in a conversation. But honestly, just being there and seeing like how you like talk and stuff like it was really cool to see you like in, in like what your element is now, yeah. like what you're building. It was really tight. That's why like, um, even like before, I think you've asked me stuff with like for your content, like building mm-hmm. just like small questions here and there. Right. But it, I, I've definitely always been like a hands off on that for you mm-hmm. because I know like I want you to make like what you right. like and what, right. what you want, and I, that's that's your thing. So I'm like, oh yeah, like I, I really want to see what you and like it's just tools. Like so, yeah. Some every now and then you'll need help with like a certain right. tool thing, like, and then uh, once you get that, it's like oh, okay, cool. And that's because that's kind of like what I like. When people show me stuff, it's like, don't show me how to do you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. show me the tool and then let me, let me fuck with it, it until, right. like, I get something that I like. You know what I mean? Uh, and, I mean, I've, I've had plenty of luck where that, where right now, what I've just, like, been messing with, like, photography and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, people have been so fucking nice. It's not what it's I expected cool. at all, honestly. Really I mean, cool. I did have friends or whatever, but I've had a lot of people very openly just be like, oh, try this. Like, this is, or, you know... Um, I'll take Brent, for example, uh, which I was like, I think I was, uh, I always like do like a little joke about his little spinny like camera thing. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I've always seen you doing that thing. And then uh, I told him the other day, we were at a show together and I was just like, yeah, like I just, I don't, I've been trying to nail that. Like, I just don't know what I'm doing. And he literally like sat down with me. He's like, this is what I do. Like, blah, blah, blah. It's like, try it. And I'm like, cool. But it, you know what? It didn't, I expected like, there's no way he's going to say, he's like, fucking find that on you. He's like, oh, try it. Uh, and he showed me the basic same thing with, um. You know who's been doing? Actually, I'll, I'll give him his props too. Uh, he's been doing some fire ass fucking layouts, and it's the Kino. Kino, yeah, yeah. Kino's layouts yeah. are so, so fucking good. cool, yeah. dude. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he actually messaged me on the photo page, and he was like complimenting something on my photos, and I'm just like, oh, like that's really nice, like out of fucking nowhere. Yeah. And then uh, I like I, I asked him because I'm like I was like no, dude, like the thing is like I go I would compliment his layouts, and I was just like no, you did some badass like. Uh, your your monsters folder that you send us like yeah. when you take pictures yeah. so fun it's and so it's cool. like I go yeah I, I try because I think I, I tried it uh, a few of the shows that we've done and I just like I can't grasp it I'm like I'll figure it out and I was like yeah like I haven't been able to nail that down he's like but you get you get some cool shots of people he's like oh this is roughly like kind of how I do and just went in and, like and told me I'm like bro this is so fucking nice I like the idea of people being very friendly with their tools no one's like. I'm not asking anybody to baby me through it and be yeah. like, this is exactly right, what you need right. to do. But people being open and being like, oh, this is the gist. Mm-hmm. Right. And figure out the rest. And I'm like, again, it's it's more of like you will figure out if you really want to do it. You know what I mean? Like you'll you'll right. work your way through it. And it's been really fun to to just discover like new new things here and there. Right. But yeah, like uh, it, it. I mean, it's those edits are different. But it's still just as time consuming, but it's still just right, as fun, right. I guess, if yeah. that makes sense. Like, this still takes, I'll sit there for like, you know, two hours and come out with 15 photos that I like, right. you know, but uh, it feels worth it. I'm like, that's cool. Like, because I, I will still try things. I think I did one set that I had redid because I went through, because I'm like, I got this down. And I went through and did like my normal stuff. And I'm like, I don't like that. And I'm like, so like the little chance that I gave myself to be like, oh, it's easy. I'm just like, no, the fuck it's not. Like nah. go back and, and put the right amount of work right, into this. Like right. that's the only thing that's going to make me feel good about something. Right. And you know, whatever, which I got beef with you right now. What? <laughs> beef with you right now. All right. I went, took some beautiful free photos for the Rotter Room session. It. The black and whites? And then you put a black and white filter on them posts. Because that's, 
that was intended for something else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Man, that's a that's a that's breaking a cardinal rule right there. Is it there. really? Yeah. I don't if you know want that. black and white, you tell me. I'm gonna give you some black and white. I'm give you some black and white. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Actually, I'm backed up. I can't give you those. Bitch ass, <laughs> bitch ass. No, because again, that was supposed no, to be I, like I, last I, week, I but that was just to showcase more like, hey, like Crooked Tooth and Noise, where they're trying to do some stuff together mm-hmm. under the Roddy Roots mm-hmm. mo- mm-hmm. moniker. Um, but like, I, like the carousel you made of me and everything, all that, like that plans on being intended the way it was given you know what I mean like no 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 but that yeah. that is a big thing, like deal with photography well, it's like, fuck it's me like putting a <laughs> fuck it's me it's like putting a filter over an edited photo I mean I obviously like they're yours I don't care what you do with them you do whatever he cares. you know what I mean if I was doing something like Spe- I don't know like specifically as a, it's I mean, the I'm reverse pie like it's whatever. just the reverse pie the reverse situation pie. <laughs> like I'm just not but I, I told him the same day <laughs> <laughs> Didn't wait no three days. I forgot. Yeah, you want that pie story? <laughs> Fuck off. No, no. It's it's funny because it, it like in the past few days, I, uh, this thing popped up. I've been getting so much fucking photography content, yeah. which is kind of cool because I don't a get a lot of less content. like garbage content. But this one was a. Uh, someone was talking about like uh, adding a art artistic freedom or creative something like claws into your contract and i'm like it's it was wedding photography i'm like what the fuck does that mean so you can do and it was so apparently this like photographer has a certain style they do and they do a lot of their stuff it's not the the lady kept calling it sepia or sepia or whatever that tone is oh yeah it wasn't that it's just like this really like more like golden like look to their photos and that's the way they take that's okay their gallery was full of that you know that's that's what they do it's their staple and this person hired this photographer whatever so she did the wedding photos and she put ever that's the style she went with and she was like why is she doing this like style i'm like like you can't see the colors and that and then like the whole deal was like well that's what you signed up for like that's what i do you know what i mean like or whatever or you didn't say like in the conversations they had because like dude the wedding photography like it's not ever like what i want to do because that shit seems so fucking like stressful pressure and There's so a lot much of pressure. pressure like for that day to fuck up you know what yeah, I mean? to capture those moments but there baby. was like there was like there was like a whole like everybody was giving like their opinions on like you know which side is right and stuff like that and i'm like oh you get you know the artistic side versus like well that's the bride you know it's whatever they want blah, but you should have hired another photographer was, at that it point it was kind of that and i think i think they resolved it because they like she was like well give me the the raw files and I'll edit them myself or whatever and then that was like another issue because that's a that's a specific yeah. thing you know like and I, so understanding all this shit was like well why wouldn't you because like I'll take it back like before years ago I would have been like yeah that's give me the files and I'll fucking do it myself but it's then I get when like oh where I'm delivering your product it's like a there's a whole like copyright thing like when you when I give you like an edited photo or like whoever like they copyright it so it's not the art itself or whatever the picture is saying is belongs to the person who took the picture Mm -hmm. so a it's so that's why giving the raw files is giving them like the rights to the pictures it's like something it's like some complicated that shit i don't fucking know but i'm like holy shit this would be fucking stressful on that level on that side because i think they it was like eight grand that they paid for this like photographer fuck but that's why you need to read your contracts though because even for like modeling and stuff like that if you were to work with specific photographers they're gonna have even if it's like a trade for print shoot they're going to make you sign like a lot of them will have you sign a contract saying you are aware that the photographer owns these photos. You are giving them mm-hmm. the right to use these photos and they can use these photos however way they want. Right. Well, and then some of them will even go as far as um, because they own the photos, you're not allowed to submit them to a magazine without their like, OK mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So a lot of them like what you were already saying, you're yeah. not going to get the raw photo. So it doesn't even not even just wedding photographers do that. Like, like if you yeah, yeah. If, if you are. Yeah, yeah. If you are a model, like you can work with for photographers and stuff like that in a way where it's like, OK, well, I, this is my rights, too, because I'm modeling for you. But that's kind of where. You need to decide afterwards, is trade for print going to be the route? Are you paying me to do this? Because if you pay me to do this, then OK, we're going to do whatever photos you want. And yeah. then some of them will reach out to a model and pay the model. So really, it's just like, yeah, same basis for everything, whether it's bands, weddings, modeling, like all of them kind of follow the same like cardinal rules that you were just talking yeah, about. The business side of it seems very, very like intense, like right. kind of like licensing um, beats and stuff. Mm-hmm. too. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. All, it really is just knowing your get, contract. Mm-hmm. People want to get taken care of. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, every, I mean, everything goes that deep, you know what I mean? Once you look at it, like, every, oh, yeah. you know, you don't see it past the surface, but once you get into, like, into the nitty-gritty, I'm like, oh, this this is very, very, very complicated. But, like, stuff like, like, that, and then, like, seeing that from that angle, or, like, 
Um, cause I, I, who did I see? Like, um, I saw some guy make a video about like tagging your photographers and obviously like we right. have, like, le- like looked at me like, Oh yeah, we, that's super important. But in the mm-hmm. video, this guy was talking, he's like a professional photographer. He's like, uh, I think this was for weddings too. And he was like, well, you know, like they didn't tag me in their posts. He's like, well, they like, in this case, like they don't have to, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's whatever. Like he's like, it would be nice. It's a courtesy, but it's like technically not expected. But as far as like, when we look at it, we look at him and like, oh, no, we want to actually make sure that, like, whoever Someone, like, people know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But I, I realize that that's not, like, commonplace in, like, the normal world outside of that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, with, once I you're in, like, an industry, it's, like, yeah, it's, it's not, like, um, which, which is just interesting because I think it's stuff that you don't think about until you're in it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you're on the outside, like, I would never, before being in any sort of scene or this and that or having any friends that were photographers or creatives, I would never think to be like, oh, you took photos? Like, let me credit you on this and that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I would just like, oh, these are mine now. Let me use them. You know? So it's it's kind of, it's just the outside of you. It's the same thing when I bring up like the scene and stuff like that. People who don't know like all the shows happening. It's just like, if you're not in it, you're, you don't you don't know what the fuck is like going on. What's going you know on? Right? Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's so much that people will like, whatever industry it may be. You know I mean, I don't know shit about plumbers you know what i mean (laughs) and and i'm sure there's a whole bunch of shit that i'm like oh i've been doing this and be like you're a fucking idiot you know what i mean like i'm I'm sure there's this the same like acid there's a reddit thread somewhere you know yeah yeah. they're just going on yeah i I low-key love my job because i'll pick everybody's careers brains about (laughs) shit yeah it doesn't matter if i have an emt a plumber like a paramedic paramedic and emts are almost the same fucking thing but you know what i mean like it doesn't matter i don't know (laughs) argument in the comments right now yeah i'm not a fucking paramedic you say that (laughs) yeah i have no i don't know but it doesn't matter like what career hvac shit like that i'll just i'll ask them questions yeah. i'm nosy i don't know <laughs> it's like you're like, here anyways like yeah, yeah literally like, literally like so i'll just i mean it's not like gonna be like brutally boring like you want to come look at my toilet no i want to know what's the weird shit you've seen when you go in people's houses like uh, and stuff yeah. like that like just i bet anything that involves you going inside a house gets you gets a bunch of wild i've gotten some wild stuff. ass fucking responses from people <laughs> i had a this isn't going into a house where my friends used to work. I used to work at Best Buy like fucking years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, but all the guys in the mobile department, the cell phone department, like had to do those transfers, like when you were getting a new phone or whatever. Right. Like now, obviously, you do you see, do you, that face you made, yeah, <laughs> it's exactly what I'm talking about. But what they had uh, before is something called a, I still remember the name, I don't know why, but it was, um, it was called a mobile genie or some shit like that. It was like a screen. You'd plug one phone to the side, one phone to the other side, and then it would transfer everything. So contacts, stuff like that. Okay. For some fucking reason, it would have to show you everything, oh, no. like on the screen that's getting transferred <laughs> oh, over. No. So, dude, and like, you're you're out in the open, like yeah. you're just there. They're standing with you because they want to make sure you see all your stuff get For transferred. Sure. And like, they would be like, "I don't understand. You know that's on your phone." I and I was like, "Do do they not know that that's going to show on the screen?" She's like, "I explain it like very thoroughly because I know <laughs> the shit that's going to happen." And then they're like, "Yeah," like he's still one lady. Uh, this might be too graphic of a story. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's going by, and then it stops on a picture, and the picture is <laughs> this lady. This right here. <laughs> this lady uh, with a Granny Smith apple somewhere. Okay. Yeah, just bent over. Sure. Granny, whole cold green Granny Smith apple in there, and then the lady's like right there. So our friend's like. Just trying not to look at her, and the lady doesn't say shit either. Like, and, and he like, he's like, I kind of like look over a little bit, and she's not phased. She's just waiting for the next picture to go. She's like, yeah, and, it's, and she's like, okay, that's it, everything, nothing happened. I'm like, bro, people are for a while, man. That's why I don't look at phone. Fo- when people try to look for their, the photo of their haircut through their images, I don't look at that phone. <laughs> like, I'm not looking at that gallery. I don't need to know what you're trying. I, I can't find the picture. Let me know when you find it. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's done that. Where he's like, oh, hold on. <laughs> I'm like, shut mm-hmm. up. Uh, you're joking, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, you got you. I mean, so they did the genie it's not like where it is now where you just put your phones back to back and it just like no this was bro when I worked at Best Buy dude this was (laughs) this is probably why they had to do that now (laughs) right yeah 15 years ago now gotcha or people could you imagine when people used to like develop or when they develop film yeah for like kind of like well we got your film (laughs) they had to come real close with that person and be like hey you're the only one that can see 
That's how people picked it up. It's just started having dark rooms in their house, dude. Fucking developing film and shit. All this just is killing me because it's just I don't even I'm not even gonna say <laughs> edit it. It just reminds me of modeling, like the years that I would do modeling and how many different like models, like photos that we've done collaborations and stuff with. Like for me, I was big on not letting people see my phone because I was like, give me that shit. Like Shut you don't up. even know what's in, like you don't need to see who's in there. You don't need to see anything that's. Oh, unedited. that's right. Because you had like a bunch of like friends that did. Yeah, it too, I had friends. Had a bunch of colleagues. That yeah, I had stuff. either friends yeah. or models that I have worked with. I would have their full blown nudes on my phone because yeah. we did the shoot together or something. And I'm like, even that shit, like, <laughs> yeah, like, I absolutely not. That was why I was always just like, no, you can't take Secure my phone. No. Yeah, like, no, it was one of those ones where it was just like, if we had like a Dropbox or something where all the photos were, because I still have a lot of photos I never deleted, like, of mine. Mm. Um, but no, just kidding, I deleted Dropbox. I got tired of paying for it. <laughs> but when I did, <laughs> when I did, yeah, I would just absolutely, like, no, you can't access that. No, you can't access that. Because I don't want to lose, like, the final photos from, like, photographers and stuff that we worked with over the past years. So I was just like, That's what I, th- it, I think it was, I thought it was always wild and people. I don't. I don't have ran into as many people that do it, but like when you show someone a picture on your phone and they like start swiping, they're like, "What are you doing, man?" Yeah. That's Hold brave. On. Yeah. Hold on. That's brave. I tell them straight up. I was like, "Don't swipe." Yeah. Like, don't, don't go left. <laughs> don't go, go left. right. Don't go left. <laughs> All they on my phone now. They're gonna see is fucking a bunch of me cropping pictures to or fucking thumbnails for shit or the same video yeah. over and over <laughs> one has captions one has a logo one doesn't oh, it's just like <laughs> flyers photos dude yeah it's all that shit is all like, flyers shit. mine have literally become flyers cat pictures and band photos from like the promos for real yeah I got a bunch of I need to just delete shit I'm like sometimes I'll do that sometimes I'll sit down and be like alright I'm gonna get rid of you know, old promo stuff, old whatever stuff and it takes forever <laughs> you're organized enough to do that though yeah I'll try I've been the only like not on my phone but like on the computer now with photos and stuff like i've i was like there's so fucking many that if i don't have a system like from the first edit that i did it's like if i don't develop a system then like it's gonna be a fucking shit show here yeah so like everything like when i get home that's the first thing i do it's like everything goes into a folder like specific date this is where they are like all finals go into their own folder right um i thought i found a cool thing like you can um rename like groups of files like at a time and like some someone recommended he's like yeah you'll add she's like i usually do like the band name um and i'll put like the date of the event or whatever and then like underscore and then put your instagram handle that way they don't ever lose it mm. like if they look for it mm-hmm. so it's always like so the, I, the, the ones i've been sending bands is like oh it's like their band name underscore then like the right. instagram at or whatever but that way they don't get their own because i was sending ones that just said like jpeg this or whatever and, shit. and i'm like <laughs> that looks so weird but they usually like little random stuff that people pick up for like sharing their photos or, or sending results to like people because like i'll take bailey bailey now every time she does like a gallery for you she'll send you that link now oh like, yeah it's really cool as a gallery, really which cool. is really cool yeah. it's like, very professional i'm like oh this is this is kind of nice yeah. and then you you know it has you put your email in to download or whatever um, but I'm like, oh, that's definitely when you're at like a level like that. It's it, yeah, you kind of need to makes yeah keep sense. doing more, yeah, professional things. That's what I need to do. I don't know for not for photos, but for a, you would stuff. get there though. You'll get there because at that point you can delete them. I mean, I'm sure you delete them already, like off your drive and stuff like that. Once you're done with them, but if you have no, you haven't. Sure. Well, once you get to that point, then yeah. you can pretty much delete them off your drive, and then you still have the link accessible. So you, it's kind of in another way. It's like go back and look up the pixie set that you I needed. think it's just because it took me forever to uh to get to the point where i was deleting even like the the raw uh podcast files for mm-hmm. like the podcast like i would keep the the first video um the individual camera videos and then like my hard drive was filling up so fast because every like podcast like raw file is like 26 to 30 gigs Fuck I think, Damn. per camera you know what i mean so i would, was keeping those two cameras and i was keeping the edited one or whatever so i'm like ah. i go and i was like i just want the footage what if i ever yeah. but i'm like when do am i ever it? realistically yeah. going to need this i have to do like, the same ah, thing when i'm mixing or when i mix the podcast because each wave file is kind of high before i turn it to like mm. just an mp3 but uh my computer and for some reason it won't let me work off my hard drive i have to download it to my computer first and anyways i have to delete all the old sessions mm. which sometimes gives me anxiety i'm like what if i need that i'm like yeah. i won't need that i was like i don't need our episode from like a week or two ago you know I mean it's fine you know i can delete it. that it's on youtube already it's fine you know what i mean i don't need the the work file anymore yeah. you know what i mean but i always have a habit of like i just think i gotta keep it but no, nah, I've been trying to be better about deleting that stuff like that. It's yeah. kind of a no-brainer. 
Yeah, I need a. I've, I've luckily I've been doing really well with like. So if I needed to do that with the photos, like it's really easy because everything is organized. But like mm -hmm. when I look at like all the small stuff that we have, I started looking at that folder, like the the you know the small videos we do here. They're fucking everywhere on my computer. Yeah. And then like mm -hmm. like you're reminding me, it's like oh you're gonna do the other video that we're working on for the pop punk the album one, and I'm like oh that's fucking right. Like yeah. where is that one? Like because they're uh, that's somewhere. But I'm like oh I need to create a new one, which. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to because now, like I said, that one of the things I want to do is is create stuff every day. Um, mm. I don't know what the fuck it's gonna look Just, like, but the thing is, the cool thing is what I'm gonna do is because I also don't want to flood the grid with a bunch of shit. Yeah, um, you can upload reels without having them going on the, right. the actual grid; they'll just go on the reels grid. Um, so I'm like, oh, okay, that's the way I'll do the ones that'll collaborate into Narzar and whatnot. But um, yeah, I really. I think if I get into the habit, it'll be way easier to do. Yeah. And it'll allow me, because, like, even just today, like, once I started thinking, like, oh, what am I going to do today? Like, I came up with, like, three ideas that I can do, you know, mm -hmm. for content. I'm like, oh, I just have to do these. Like, they're not hard. Like, they're not really hard to get done, like, as long as I do them. Like, and then there's right. something out. But my thing is if I do them every day, um, I'm less likely to just hold on to stuff and forget to schedule them because that's what i was doing with the podcast like i was like if i make a shit ton of like content off <laughs> yeah, of one podcast because I, I think like the letdown podcast and like the daedric one has like over 10 clips that i did off of all of them because i'm like i'm gonna make them for all of this and i'm like and i use like some of them huh. but i'm like when it's gonna be the right time to go back and like really do right. that so mm -hmm. i'm like so now i'm limiting myself to like okay we're only doing three, right? But those three are getting used. Solid. Like you yeah, know, what I mean, yeah. there'll be two the first week and one the following week before the next one drops, and then bam, next. That's thing. You know what I mean? Same. Little I'm trying thing. to do that with the Roddy Roots. It was like one's just like a promo photo, another's a performance, and then another's like a conversation with a piece of a performance. Like just three solid promote this uh, content and move on. Next one. Yeah, I think yeah. The strategy for me now is like if if that's the schedule for that because I told her it's like I'm. The podcast, because I was telling you, like, the podcast is on autopilot. And I was like, that's kind of a good thing, but it's also bad. So I'm like, oh, now I'm getting bored. Like, with mm -hmm. with what's coming out, I go, it's right. expected. I go, what can we fucking throw in here to right. mess this up a little bit? So that's why I was like, oh, if I make myself create content every day, like, I'm mm -hmm. going to have to think of, like, a new idea. Some of them will work, like, where I can do more than one thing. You know what I mean? Like, the, I, you know, I did another one of the... DFW bands that you know are not around yeah, anymore. Yeah, I'm like, oh, this is a good. Fun. This is a good recurring one that everybody can like kind of work with. I go, but there'll be some stuff that'll just be like this day. This makes sense, you know, right. and, and whatever. But uh, yeah, just making it more fun, making it more like creating shit. I think is is where the next half of the year is going to go for me. It's like right. how to just make more stuff. Yeah, because yeah. um, the. Again, like with with you taking on making a lot of the promo videos, I'm like, oh, okay, for events, like there's not much that I need to do so I can focus a little bit more on what other stuff can I right. make outside of shows. Because shows is one like and one part of it, and I'm, like the part that I've always been interested in is like the entertainment part of like noise. Yeah. Okay, so now like let's whole ass that, figure it out, and just fucking just do it. like right. that's what keeps going in my head. Like ever since we had like had that conversation, more like I'll hear you and I'll hear Lewis just being like, just do it. I'm like, all right. Bro, I'm trying to take yeah. his mentality, man. He's got the right the right hand on the shoulders. Like, why second guess it? Just, do you want to do it? Yeah, well then go do it. Oh, fuck. I guess you're right. <laughs> I guess yeah. you're right. My idea is more like, it's literally like, go go fail at it. And I'm just like, okay. Because if I, if I expect that, I'm like, I'm fine with it. Like, mm -hmm. if I do wrong and I'm ready to do it again. Uh, I, I I think that's a good thing. I, I do a lot less thinking about like, what if this doesn't work? Now I'm just like, uh, you know what comes to mind? You remember this fucking infomercial? It was for a fucking oven. And the guy would like put a chicken in and be like, "You said it and forget it." No, <laughs> don't. Sorry. That's literally how I think about content now. I'm like, well, post it and who gives a fuck? Like, you know, uh, as long as you put yeah. something out you like, yeah, it'll it'll do its thing. And like some stuff, it's weird because some stuff's like, I'll be like, oh, nothing's picking up right now. And then like a week later, shit starts getting, you know, liked for some reason. Or someone commented on it. And I'm just like, oh, cool. cool. You know what I mean? Nice. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm not worrying. Yeah. I'm not worrying about that yeah. anymore. I'm like, right. I've already like worked on more stuff. So that's the idea I want to do. I want to take the same idea that I did with like the vlog with the podcast, which is just like fucking do one, put it out, do the next one, put it out. Like, don't worry about the one I just got. You know, right. who, who cares? Like, if it's gonna work, it's gonna work. You know. Hmm. Hell yeah. What, a lot. what do you feel? What do you feel for lot. the? What do y'all feel for the next half of the year? What do you? 
what are you trying to I mean, accomplish what, or get done? Accomplish? I mean, we have some shows that we still have some offers up that I'm waiting to hear back on that if we get them confirmed, like I feel pretty good towards the end of the year. I know we have one thing planned that's more of a to be determined in the fall, but that's when we can't really talk about that one just mm-hmm. yet. Um, I will say I do want to do like the Fort Worth Hardcore Fest again in December. Um, got some feelers out for that, so maybe get some pretty cool like uh, bigger names to kind of like really do something cool. Um, but that's again more of a to be determined. But I feel comfortable talking about that one. Mm-hmm. Um, but like that's kind of what I'm basing myself around right now is is the pending shows, um, even leading leaning in towards like the beginning of uh, 2025, <laughs> uh, and then you know with the Rotary sessions, I'm trying to drop one a month, uh, so that's been keeping me kind of busy as far as like making content, and making sure the shows um, are good deals for the artists, good deals for us, um, good deals for the venues. Um, and then honestly, I'm just looking for new spots, you know, helping us find new venues, find uh, new uh, like events to throw, like leaning into like the play it slow, chop the screw night with Fostepco, uh, trying to do that in like the right environment, I think would be cool. I know we've done it at the tub a couple of times now, but I think something like even like curfew bar would be cool. How they have like a fucking cool vibe there. Uh, I know. Uh, like even like Hot Fusion when we stopped by I was like that's a cool vibe yeah. you know what I mean like stuff like that would be it'd be cool to kind of do something a little bit outside of our norm um, bringing back like Rot Swap is something that's on my mind and uh, me and Riker have been texting and trying to get like an idea of like how can we make this sh- like a bigger show you know what mm-hmm. I mean like what's the next level for that so like it's just more event planning you know planning new events and how to like reinvent the wheel on what we've already got going on <laughs> what Mm-hmm. What'd you look up for? I thought of an idea. What's your idea? It's private. Oh, I want to know. <laughs> Shut it <Real> out. <laughs> <laughs> in like a few minutes. Uh-huh. <laughs> what about you, Bird? Honestly, just keep learning to do shit. I mean, I, uh, the Photoshop thing has been interesting. Still trying to like edit flyers or like just editing random ass photos just to edit them for the sake of doing that. Um, it's fun. It is it's fun. fun. It's fun. Anything that literally lets me get visually creative, I'm already just, like, sold. I'm in. <laughs> like, you know, I still have I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do for a hot take sign. That way the hot take sign gets everybody's attention pretty fucking fast when they yeah. walk by and they see it. I got some oil pastels I want to use for that. I think it's, it's going to be pretty fucking sick. I hope it comes out sick. I have backup in case it sucks the first <laughs> one. But, like, I feel like it's going to be pretty fucking sick to boo. Um had a few ideas for content as far as that goes but i just haven't i'm the one that does not plan shit <laughs> i'm the one that just kind of goes with the vibes of it so um y'all are pretty calculated and i'm like i have to be at work in an hour Wild so card. post <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i'm just gonna keep winging shit and make it up as i go let's go <laughs> it's worse for me this way yeah that's all we're doing i think that's what everybody's doing i don't know y'all are way more works. y'all are way more calculated we, we make and it like, more calculated i honestly that is that is my thing yeah like, i will make it look like i know what i'm doing like until i know what i'm doing <laughs> and then i don't know you know like uh, a lot of the stuff because i like certain things like i remember we were, i forgot who walked in here and i was like this place looks a lot bigger like on the, <laughs> when i watch it i'm like yeah yeah, it's supposed to. Look, <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to look way better than <laughs> like just the room, uh, or little things like that. I'm like, oh, okay, how do we, you know? Like, but that's the thing that always reflects back to like what a conversation that I had with uh, actually Dizzy like years ago now, and he was like, he's like, you have like, because I kept like trying to deny the skill set that I had built. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, I just like, no, like it's there's stuff way better, and I kept thinking like that. It's not this. It's not that. It's not this. Yeah. He's like, yeah, but I can't like do that. Like you know what I mean? And, uh, I'm like, yeah, you probably could. You would just have to. And I was like, yeah, that, that's a lot already. Like what I was trying to explain. And I was like, okay, so I do have a skill set. I need to use it, but I also like that skill set will never be finished. You know what I mean? Like you're always building, and which is what makes it fun. Like it's what makes it cool. Yeah. It makes it mean something. It's like you can always do more. Like every time I tr- get comfortable, like I. Mm become uncomfortable like immediately because i'm like i I shouldn't be okay with like hey this is fine again Mm -hmm. like what was bothering and i I remember once i told you he's like yeah the podcast is on autopilot i'm like something's wrong i'm like something's (laughs) wrong because it shouldn't feel like 
All right, like, next there should one. be something yeah. to next do. One. You know what I mean? Even if it's like a, a a little bit, like any any like little bit changes, just like to the point of like I told DJ, I'm like, dude, I hear. I mean, you have to hear them too. But I'm just like, dude, I've said the same story like the past three podcasts. Like it just keeps coming up, and like, or I, I keep going to that well because mm-hmm. it's easy. Right. And I'm just like, all right, gotta switch it up. I need to talk about some other shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it, it, again, little things like that. Little things like oh, where the camera was turning the fucking table. Yeah, like these are all sense. little yeah. things that yeah. I'm like. Yeah, man, we're doing shit. <laughs> yeah. um, it makes a difference, though. I genuinely, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Having a, not only a clean space, an organized space, but a functional space mm-hmm. makes all of the difference mm-hmm. for, like, mentality. Like, I, for me in the apartment, anytime our apartment gets a little bit of a catastrophe in there, I'm like, I can't focus. Like, I, I need... <laughs> I just went through that, like, this past weekend. I was literally, like, I kept telling... Because I told Sierra, like, mm-hmm. two weeks ago or three weeks ago, I'm like, I need to organize my closet and take out so you had much so clothes. many bags yeah you had a lot of yeah bags. and i'm like there's so many clothes in there but mm-hmm. that was like let's say three weeks ago and then i was like every time i was getting other stuff done like edits all this crap mm-hmm. and i'm like cool but none of it seemed like it mattered because this big fucking thing wasn't done and then, like, one day, and, now, and then I was like, and I also want to, like, move my desk. I want this to be a workstation where I work uh, in my room. I'm like, I want to add a little table here, make my own little L desk. And it needs to be, like, a room where it's comfortable to work in here because mm-hmm. it doesn't feel like it is. I was like, cool. And, like, one weekend, I literally was like, we were hanging out the whole day, and I'm just like, I'm just going to organize my closet. Do you want to help? And she's like, yeah. And, like, I, at the end, like, I go and, like, I sort everything, all the winter shit. Like, I took that. I'm like, there's no reason. All, all, all little, these little things. And I'm like, oh, thank you. know, Thank you for helping. And she's like, I literally didn't do anything. I just sat here, like, with you. And I folded, like, some stuff. And I was like, oh. And she's like, oh, it's it's body doubling. Have you heard about this? No? I don't okay. think so. Apparently, it's a concept for, like, people with ADHD where you do more work when you have somebody Huh. Just in the room, it, and then I, I assume I it's because your brain's one. It's like is your, it's again. There's someone there, and it feels like oh, I need to do I gotta something. Get, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I said I was gonna do this, so I gotta do I gotta it do now. And I realize how much yeah, yeah. my like, oh, I do that a lot. You know what I mean? <laughs> a lot of time, like it helps when I know someone's there. Like no one's even beating on my ass. I just know like you're there. But it's like apparently like it's so common that it's a thing, like or whatever. But that yeah, dude, I cleared out like over half the closet, and. uh Bag wise, I think there was like four bags that I took out of clothes. Yeah, I, you know, I don't want to like, talk about mine. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was so much, and it was hard because I'm like, I like this shirt, but I'm like, when's the last time I did yeah. had to do the old like, does this serve me? Still? Yeah, you know? and I'm like, oh, it could, like you know, like I could wear it. You know, yeah. this stuff, and I, it's just because I'm not used to throwing out stuff that like, and I didn't throw it out. Just but, donate it. No, I did, but getting rid of stuff that I'm like, this still is functional. Like this, mm-hmm. it's not bad. And I'm like, oh, these are fine, but uh, yeah, I'd, la, sorry, a lot of band shirts had to go. Sorry, damn, I could not get rid of the band shirts. Well, bands. That's the truth. I don't know. See, the band shirts I keep for the nostalgia. Everything else that I don't wear, like otherwise, I'm just like. Uh, <laughs> most, most of them at this yeah. point are nostalgia, mm-hmm. but that's the only reason there's, why. I there's keep some certain. I don't care. About. But there's like, oh well. So actually, I was gonna. This is one of my ideas for one of the videos that I'm gonna make, and I'm still gonna make it. But. uh yeah, I think now uh, if I buy band merch, it's got to be, especially shirts, it's got to be shit that I'm going to wear. Right. right. I, I don't think I'm going to do the support. just to support. Sure. Because I realize, I go, yes, I do. I, if that's the point, I might as well just like give them the money for it. Tip them. Just tip them. Yeah, because I'm like, oh, like I'm going to get another shirt and I'm not going to wear it. And it annoys me more <laughs> that I'm not going to wear it. Uh, yeah, like the... I think maybe just it's not even like quality wise because I get I get it you know what I mean like I've been in a band you know, I know how like expensive shit is and the whole point is to make money while you're on the road or just make money as a band it's one of the yeah. biggest ways you can make money so I, I definitely understand the point of view I'm just looking at it from my point of view and being like oh I need to be more functional with my like money and like, right. wardrobe I'm like oh, okay I like wearing a lot of shit that has like band stuff on it but it's got to be comfortable. And it's not just like bands. Like fucking, I went to Hot Topic. And I had to buy a shirt. I had to buy shirts to get those trading cards. Like, <laughs> trading cards. Yeah, those little like the the summer school tour. Oh, like, that's right. Card. That's right. That's right. I bought this shirt actually. But like I I so the same store right. I bought this one and I bought a Post Malone shirt. The Post Malone shirt was ass. Like <laughs> straight up felt like damn sandpaper. Washed it. 
shrunk, shrunk so uh, bad. Right. And I'm just like, oh shit. And then this, I was expecting this. And this one's like, no, this one's still soft. This one fits fine. And you know what? This one gets a lot of compliments. Yeah? Yeah. Done deal. This one, dude, and my Run the Jewels shirt that we got at the show that yeah. we went to. Yeah. Looks like a damn metal core shirt. That's a nostalgia That's one cool. that I wear. But that one, cool. that one actually is comfortable. No, there's certain shirts in my closet that I will not wear. Unless, like, I'm going out because, I one, I don't want to ruin it. Like, the Distinguisher shirt. Now the Distinguisher's no longer around. I do not wear that right. unless we are stepping out. Like, he... <laughs> yeah, like, he, he tried to See, bring that's it... That's a good... Let me, no, let me that put ass. My good <laughs> that ass. Well, because it, it's a white shirt, and I know me, and I know Keegan, because sometimes he'll wear it, and I'm like, bitch, don't dirty it. Like, because they're not around anymore. Yeah. But there's, like, certain band merch where it's just kind of, like, it needs to, like... We have like the uh, I had or- like pre ordered and waited like fucking months for it to come. It was like that bomber jacket. Right. It was like a limited oh, run yeah, for Day Seeker. One. That one's still clean as fuck. I have not worn it except to the Polyphia show. Still have not worn it. To- <laughs> like there's just certain shit where I have and like I can't bring myself to wear it because I don't want to rip it. I don't want to dirty it. I don't want to ruin it. Like yeah. there's a neck deep one in there with Ben Barlow's signature still in it. I'm like I'm not wearing it. Like mm. yeah, so there's I don't like wearing the overalls. I don't want to get them all fucked up. The the quarter pink, quarter, pink quarter ones? Well, you've played shows with them. Yeah, but that's 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 <laughs> the extent of it. You know what I mean? It's like Daddy War. No, see, there's yeah, so much shit. I'm like, dresses, Fashion Nova shit, Sheen shit, like Hollister Put jeans, goodbye. Up. Get rid of it. Like, I can I have no issues parting it. My band stuff, I don't want to part with. That's <laughs> that's the one where like, Near I look. Dear. Yeah, Near I have dear. shit from like middle school still, so... If that tells you how bad I am Man, with partying. I'm, I'm missing so many shirts. My mom would throw some away, though. Yeah, I've lost a few over the years, but there's still some where I'm like, I'm not letting this go. It's on its last thread. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's me with the the one without the elbows. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that fucking a day to remember that the quarter sleeve baseball oh, yeah. tee. They don't make baseball tees like that anymore for band shirts. They mm-hmm. need to bring that back. Bring back jersey style fucking shirts. Mm-hmm. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, 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 I, you need an order? I got you. That's not even a hot take anymore. That's a that's a fucking fact. Whenever they were doing like the baseball jerseys, like the hockey jerseys, or the football ones, I have one from like a day to remember. When they did like a ba- uh, football style jersey, I still don't wear that bitch anymore because I'm just like I don't want to ruin it. They don't make them like that anymore, <laughs> so I'm like it just sits in my closet. But it's like occasionally I will bring it out of like rotation. But otherwise, I'm like nope, the I don't want to ruin best. it. Sunday best. Let me wear my Sunday best. Pulls out the Data River football jersey. <laughs> Hell yeah! Thank <laughs> God, man. Yeah, man. Band merch. Yep. Keep keep doing what you're doing. I don't know where I'm at now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we made the threshold. Thank you guys. <laughs> no, I think we're I think we're doing a lot of cool shit. I think we are busy, but it's busy that's fun. Like, yeah, uh, it's, thankfully, we're yeah. doing a lot of cool stuff. We're branching out. We're nailing more of the stuff that we do on the daily basis. And it's like, oh, okay, we have this down, and mm-hmm. we are still trying new stuff. And I think that's. A good sign of like where we're going. I'm like, oh, okay, like if we we even though we have like a solid found again, like once it gets comfortable, like we're like, what, what we're else passionate. Can we do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, this is. I, I've been looking at it more and more. And I'm like, no, this is. Uh, I'm some way or another like this. I want this to be like so much more. Yeah, and I, and I like that we are still doing stuff to make it so much more. Right. Um, and yeah, seeing it from like our own eyes and seeing it from the eyes of like other people and outside, mm-hmm. I'm like. I mean, doing something right, and it's cool. Everything we're doing is bigger than us. Like, everything we do, we don't do it to benefit us. Like, yeah. it benefits you know the scene, saying? the community. Literally. Like, it's just opening doors. I mean, we did, what is it, the um, Fort Worth Weekly interview, mm. pretty That's much. Cool. And I mean, I'll say it again. Like, I think it's really cool being able to open the next door for the next, or open the door for the next generation to be able to come into the stuff that we grew up seeing and grew up right. doing. Mm. And especially with, you know, like the way venues are constantly ever changing, you no longer have staple venues for people to be like, oh yeah, I remember that crazy ass Traders shows at Tomcats. Yeah. You know, like they're not going to know what yeah. Tomcats is or anything anymore. So it's cool to be able to still grow with the scene and move with social media and the way that like people find and discover information, find and discover their next favorite band and doing it for them. Like it's not even for us. Yeah. Like I said, it's just it's just purely passion and being able to open that door for the next group of kids to be able to enjoy it, really. Yeah, innately uh, been, it's that's what it is, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking earlier this week, uh, and it's not to say like we're in the music business, but I was thinking I was like, Oh, I feel like we're like knocking on the door. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're like, oh, cool. Like, we're like 
somewhat in the music business. I mean, we have a decent name in like the DFW community. We get bands from like out of state that will email us because you know maybe we worked with like Victim of Suffering from over here up north, and now their homies are hitting us up to play a show down mm-hmm. in Texas. And it's cool to be like, oh, like we're in some sort of circulation with the music community, and knowing what we're doing is providing and helping with that is cool and it's something i've wanted to do forever so it's it's just it's uh it's a humbling feeling of like cool like i'm doing everything i've wanted to do for so long now and it's like okay how do we make it bigger for everybody how do we Mm -hmm. make it better for everybody like what's the next move and i think that's what these next uh couple of years are going to be is figuring out what works best and how to keep changing and evolving. You know what I mean? Like, it's cool. It's really nice. Uh, I say knocking at the door because I, I, I don't think I ever really feel like mm. I'm, like, in the music business, blah, blah, <laughs> yeah. whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I still feel like I'm 15 playing in a band, just, like, having a good time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just it's just fun for me. You know what I mean? It's cool to do this. So low, low it's, key, it's awesome. I don't think I realize how much we do until I explain it to somebody like a client or something where I'm like we do this and this and this and this and like how the fuck do y'all have time for that and I'm like yeah. we don't <laughs> like, we don't this is all I care about <laughs> well, this all is, I that's, yeah it, it's it seems like I think when people say like oh how do you like how do you guys have time for that and it's because they're incorporating like the shit that matters to them yeah sure. and this plus but like this is what matters to us yeah right. this is what we're working on you know 100% so it's, it's the same thing like everybody has like their thing that they could they, they could and should dedicate their time to you know that's and, just that's all this is like mm-hmm. we yes if you look at it objectively like oh like how do they have time for that and still you know do everything that i do i'm like we don't you know what i mean like see, we do this because like, this is what we want it, to do it's a lot of prioritizing honestly it also, it also helps having like spouses that are in the same that appreciate the same things that mm-hmm. you're doing you know uh, fa- having family that supports what we even you know put our passions into yeah. you know what i mean mm-hmm. uh, i mean I'll use like the photographers for example or like the people you've modeled with or like working with like different studios like we have creative communities around us that are have the same mentalities so we feed off of each other's energy like we Mm -hmm. are like in the right place at the right time doing what we really want to do not for just ourselves but for others and with others so it's like uh, yeah that's when the it feels more natural that the ball's rolling Mm -hmm. someone who's on the outside looking in who doesn't necessarily have Supporting spouse, the supporting community, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, it might feel like a lot, a lot, but yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. I think with the things we sacrifice are willing to sacrifice too, because I know like at work I've looked like the most unapproachable fucking person in between clients, <laughs> and that's because I'll literally have like my over the ear headphones in and I have a lap my laptop out and I'm just working on noise rot shit. And like my coworkers are, like, are you good? I'm like just. Don't talk to me. I'll be distracted. I, I will. I will get nothing done if you start talking to yeah. me right now. So I need to just like focus on this. But that way, it's like it frees up that after work. After you know, I don't have to worry about. I'm like, man, if I'm gonna get paid to do this, I'm gonna do this at work. Fuck yeah. boys, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna do this on their dime. No, I didn't. Really, actually, it's funny you bring that up. The, the spouses thing. I didn't know how much that would matter to me until like having Sierra. I'm like, bro, mm-hmm. like it's way easier like this makes not only it makes sense to her she's so organized but she's too. Very, she helps me organize a lot because i that's the one thing that i that's what you're saying when you were saying like oh y'all are very tech i'm like fuck i am <laughs> bro you you tell me to make a list and i fucking throw i a like fucking lists. fit I do like you're, lists. yeah they're good i admit that when i make a list and it works i'm like fuck yeah but the thought of making a list is just like <laughs> you know it's just rebellion i'm like no i'm not gonna fucking make a list i can do this because it's in here baby <laughs> it's I, in here. i'll build different and then i fucking go you know stare at grass for like fucking five minutes <laughs> what'd you come out here for i don't know like, <laughs> do they all just stand <laughs> i've surrendered the trick that's helped me is just leaving a blank sticky note like on the laptop mm. i'm just making sure there's like a pen in my backpack because it's something about just writing it down and forgetting it later i can be like oh yeah i gotta do that later. i had to start making notes on my phone it'll just be like a random pad on like you know on your notes just I'm bread <laughs> you know or i'll go to the next oh, one and know yeah <laughs> the next one is just bread. like <laughs> it's just what? get this yeah. dot bread <laughs> <laughs> just incohesive sentences it's yeah. just real fast before i forget I, and I'll probably forget. I've had, I've done that a few times, and I'm like, okay, no. So I, I physically have to write it down now for me to like confirm mm-hmm. with myself. But I have too many notes now. I'm too mm-hmm. many. I'm too many. I have to delete them. Notes that I'm just like, all right. 
Well, that one just died, so you guys got to wrap it up. There you go. We're doing cool shit. We're doing cool shit, yeah. We're making it, man. Well. <laughs> well, that's episode 116 for you. Yeah, well, thanks for tuning in to the 2000 Breakdowns Podcast. Uh, that was your host, OC. I'm still here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, damn. You got to do the little thing oh. that I do. Um. You do that? Yeah, I say thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. We'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, fuck. We're doing that? <laughs> His fans over here on the Disney Channel shit. Thank Thanks you guys for, for watching. Noise we'll see you later. <laughs>